app is very very i mean it played a such a important role in this exam so those questions are so well framed so then that also makes a difference so i think the key is to follow this app thoroughly so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr kartika rao for scoring rank number 17 in uh, head and neck mch head and neck oncology in super speciality session of neat ss 2024 congratulations to you doctor thank you thank you sir thank you very much great now uh, can we know your brief background history of where you started from till date what all you have done okay, so i uh, did my uh, mbbs from uh, topiwala national medical college nayar hospital in bombay and uh, then i did my uh, post graduation in ent from surat medical college government medical college surat Uh, that i completed in 2021 after that i had actually uh, since it was a government college in uh, for the ug i had to do my one year bond so after i came back from surat i had my maharashtra bond to be completed so i did that over here in uh, in baba atomic research center has a hospital associated with it so i was working as a senior resident over there for one year then uh, after i uh, because i was in that covid batch i had a little bit of uh, we had a little bit of deficiency in terms of surgery so i used uh, two years at that uh, hospital to work up on my ent uh, surgeries then uh, once i finished those two years i was having more exposure to head and neck in that hospital so i thought of uh, doing a fellowship first in head and neck oncology at that time i don't i was not very uh, didn't uh, give the thought to giving that neat ss exam so i appear applied for one fellowship and i got fellowship in uh, one institute over here which has been recently opened last year under uh, dr sultan pradhan and dr prathamesh pai so i was uh, doing i did my fellowship uh, in that institute head and neck cancer institute of india so i joined that fellowship in uh, march 24 and i completed it that in uh, january 24 so i was just I just completed my this january 25 i completed that fellowship and then i thought of uh, using that remaining two months to study for the exam i think it was a little uh, close but uh, i thought i'll do that so those two months then february and march i prepared for the exam and full time gave the exam ha huh. then from february and march i used it full time to Uh, to study i was a little bit uh, skeptical of that because i thought two months was a little bit close but then i managed to do it because in those two years that i got at my previous uh, hospital we were part of the academic session where we had to take lectures for the dnb students so i used to take uh, some lectures for them as well by making presentations and all so i think that helped me in uh, recollecting and keeping in touch with the ent topics and then the last one year i was working doing the fellowship so that helped me to keep in touch uh, to be updated with the head and neck part and then once i started the lectures i it was so that in the app everything is so well organized so i just made it up i kept in mind that i have to complete all these lectures right before the exam so i just made a schedule accordingly so that from february and march i could do all the test series and attend all the lectures so i made a schedule and i followed uh, and i think uh, in the middle i gave my dnb exam as well so there was one more reading of the of scott and brown for the dnb exam as well so i think that also maybe helped because i follow i read the scott brown for that exam very good brief very brief and also very good way that you all said what all happened and uh, so what is that you want to say to the students the message that you have during your preparation to felt this i should say someone that this should be done and i say, think sir uh, everybody was when i was seeing the uh, videos of all the previous students who were uh, giving who have given the exam they always said that you should uh, keep 5 months at least 5 months for thorough preparation but i think uh, sir it is more about uh, being consistent over the years actually because every small uh, every small thing that we are learning in ent for example in this exam they just asked us about uh, incisions in the ear so 
that is not something i mean we are learning so much for the exam but when that incision part they asked us what is that lempert's incision used for so in a in our exam uh, when we are reading for the exam we are we have so many topics to focus on but i feel that it helped me because uh, i kept reading those things again and again over 2 3 years so i know it is difficult for everybody to uh, pay attention like you know 2 3 years before giving that exam but i feel that uh, if you have like a book like i always thought scott and brown was the ultimate book for us so whenever i had any doubt in my mind i used to just go back and read a topic related to that uh, chapter so i think in that way then when i saw uh, kantha sir's lecture he used to keep saying that you know you should read scott and brown like from first page to the last page you should be thorough with it so that i think helped me because several topics were very much uh, uh, ingrained in my mind because of those chapters at least so uh, i would just say that uh, yeah i think uh, in that last 2 uh, 3 months reading scott and brown is extremely important and uh, then as usual i i think the app is very very i mean it played a such a important role in this exam because uh, the way sir is discussing the, and he had this especially this time i think he used the, they had a separate chapter on uh, scott brown so he went along reading page by page word by word of that scott brown so i used to do what i used to do is i used to read once the chapter and then follow the uh, follow the chapter which sir is reading so that once i have read it and the next time you get the important points what from what sir has given so and then the third reading i did again so in that way in those two months i actually have read at least two times in addition to what i would have read before so i think that made i think that is what made a lot of difference and you had also given that small video before the exam where you had said that the questions are more uh, difficult when we are solving through the app and that is also very true because it prepares us uh, like every question like i was remembering the questions when i was giving the exam because that question itself uh, when there are these test series and whatever tests we are giving each question and that answer to it has like another three to four questions that can come so those questions are so well framed so then that also makes a difference so i think the key is to follow this app thoroughly doctor uh time to thank and whom all uh, you want to thank they helped you from day one till day in your career i would uh, thank my mentors actually more than my family i think because i they have played right from uh, where i was working in baba atomic research center my hod there to dr sultan pradhan and pai sir and of course the kantha sir for Uh, going making me go through scott brown once once again so i think that uh, the teachers are the ones who have played the most important part in this exam of course my family has been extremely supportive but i don't think it would have been possible without all of my teachers so i would really thank that in these last 3 years i have got the best teachers i feel so i would just thank all of you all for uh, giving me answer i saw that last one month i was seeing just your surgery revision videos because i didn't have that much of time to uh, read surgery so i was just keeping my fingers crossed that you kept saying that this question is a must this question is definitely going to come i would remember that and i would just go through all your videos so thank you for that also i mean it was a short uh, way of knowing you but through the videos i think i have uh, uh, got lots of knowledge from you as well great doctor it was wonderful uh, discussing with you and uh, you are very thank meticulous you. very focused wish you all the best and congratulations once again thank you thank you sir